Welcome to the last edition of our introduction to the Abacus for Parents. The purpose of these videos has been to show you how to add up on an abacus, um, specifically the Soroban, the Japanese abacus, and so that you then have the knowledge to show your child how to do so as well. Um, as I've said in previous videos, I really love the abacus. I think it's um, a lot of fun. It teaches some really good um, ma basic mathematical concepts, and it's a little bit out of the ordinary um, for those of us in the West anyway, so it can be an interesting thing to teach your child to use. If you've watched the previous videos, you should now know how to add by all of the different numbers on the abacus. However, there are a couple of little tricky situations that you can encounter. So today I'm going to focus on these and show you how to handle them. Okay, to illustrate the first type of tricky situation, let's try and add 48 plus 9. So I put 4 T8 on the Soroban. To add 9 to this, well, I can't add 9 directly to this column. So instead, I do what I always do, I subtract 1 from here, and then I add 1 to here. But I can't directly add 1 to this one. It's not actually that hard. Um, all you need to do is realise what you would do if this situation occurred in isolation, and that is you'd say, oh well, there are no earthly beads available, but I can use my heavenly bead. If I add the heavenly bead, that's adding 5, that's 4 more than the one I wish to add, so I subtract 4, then add my 5, and there you go, 48 plus 9 is 57. Slightly different variation on this situation. Let's start with 98 on the Soroban. 9 and 8, and how do I add 9 to this? Again, subtract my 1, but how do I add 1 to this column? This time, the heavenly beat is not available either. Again, it really isn't that difficult. I simply move along to the next column. And I say if I add um, 1 to the next column, that will be adding 10, which is 9 more than the one I wish to add. So firstly, I subtract my 9, then I add my 1 for a net result of 107. And that's right, 98 plus 9 equals 107. All right, there's one other kind of situation, and I'll illustrate that by adding 7 plus 7. Sounds easy enough, so put 7 onto the Soroban and add 7 to that. Well, I haven't got 7 beads to play with, 7 um, worth of beads to play with here, so I'm going to have to move across and add 1 into this column, which has the effect of adding 10, and that's 3 more than the 7 I wish to add, so I have to subtract 3 from here. But uh oh, I can't. There are only 2 earthly beads available. So, what do I do instead? I turn to the only option I've got, and that is the heavenly bead. I'm going to have to push it back out of play. In doing so, I'll have actually subtracted by 5, which is 2 more than the 3 I wish to subtract by. So firstly I add my 2, then I subtract my 5. Now I can add my 1 into this next column, and what are we left with? 14. 7 plus 7 equals 14. Well, there you have it. That's about as difficult as addition on the Soroban can get. If you do find yourself struggling, slow down, take it back to first principles and you'll be fine. If you enjoyed these videos, then why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? We've got lots of other videos on there and we're certainly going to be adding more. But that's it for this series. I'll see you next time.